Check it out, Yankees fan! Today, let's dive into why Jordan Montgomery, the lefty we all knew and loved, is not making his triumphant return to the Bronx, but rather, donning the Diamondbacks jersey this season. For those out of the loop, Montgomery, who was the crown jewel of available free agents, signed a one-year contract with Arizona worth $25 million. Now, I know many of you, like me, were on the edge of your seat anxiously waiting for him to wear our beloved blue and white again. But why didn't he come back? Well, according to Jim Bowden of The Athletic, the Yankees actually tried to bring him back. However, there was a big catch. Their offers included deferrals that would extend payments for 15 to 20 years or more. This means the average annual value, AAV, he would receive would be much lower than what the Diamondbacks offered. Adding an extra layer of complexity, the Yankees' payroll was already exceeding the luxury tax cap at $297 million. Bringing Montgomery back without those deferrals would mean a hefty luxury tax, as much as 110% on his salary. That's right, more than half of what he would earn would go straight to taxes. Montgomery, who was drafted by the Yankees in 2014 and made his MLB debut with the team in 2017, spent six memorable seasons with us before being traded to the Cardinals in 2022. Since then, he has shined, proving to be a reliable pitcher in the postseason. Season, helping the Rangers win their first World Series championship last year. So, fans, that was the story. Montgomery is gone, but he will never be forgotten. And looking ahead, the Yankees will always find ways to surprise and excite. So, what do you think? Should the Yankees have done more to bring Montgomery back, or does the decision make sense financially and strategically? Comment below and let's talk about it. And don't forget, for more Yankees news, analysis, and everything else, stay tuned here. To the next!